This guy got on his podcast with Ebro in the desk, and he said that 50 Cent would beat Lil Wayne in a versus. Now, when I first hear that, like, no discredit to 50 Cent. 50 Cent is great. 50 Cent can beat a lot of people in the verses. But I think Wayne is just one of those guys that just has too many big hit records for a 20-song battle that he can't compete with 50 Cent. Now, there's going to be songs 50 Cent got that Lil Wayne might not be able to touch. Like, when he plays in the club, it's like, I mean, Wayne could play a milli, he could play, you know what I'm saying? But, like, in the club is one of them records where it's if you really got to come out with that shit. When it comes to Wayne, I just feel like Wayne could easily, and I'll throw out a prediction of a score. I could say Wayne probably 13-7, 12-8 at 50 Cent in a versus. That's me. I think so. But the one thing he said, too, is, like, Lil Wayne doesn't have a get rich or die trying. And I want I, when he, when you say Lil Wayne don't have a get rich or die trying, what that to me that sounds like you're saying Lil Wayne doesn't have a certified classic stamped album. That's what it sounds like to me. And as far as mainstream wise, I feel like you can't really get more mainstream than the Carter Three. I feel like you can't get you can't get more mainstream than the Carter Three. All the songs on the album feel like hits to me, right? So that album, Carter Three sold one million copies first week. I'm sure Give Richard Die Trying. Okay, I'm not saying that Give Richard Die Trying didn't go crazy as well, because I get what he's saying. Get, get Richard Die Trying is a classic album, but to act like Wayne. So Get Richard Die Trying to 872 thousand. But obviously, that was like when he was first starting. Um, Wayne, that was late in his career. But my thing is, is us fifty is worth. Wayne is U.S. Why do you? Why do y'all say that? Why? That's what that. That's what he tried to say as well. He said he said Fifty Cent is mainstream monster, and Wayne is just a cultural mainstream. Like, why do you? You don't think that Wayne is? You don't think Lil Wayne is worldwide? Like, I don't. I don't understand that. What do you mean when you say? Lil, is it because he's from the south? Like, is it like oh Wayne's a, like? They gotta be like some southern bias in that to say like Wayne is like just US and 50 is worldwide. They like Wayne isn't looked at as one of the greatest rappers of all time, has multiple mainstream hit records. So to act like Wayne isn't as big as 50 Cent to me, like I just don't get where that comes from. Is it because is it like is it that up that, that like because I, I know through hip hop history. Down South artists have always got disrespected, but to say that Lil Wayne is only U.S. at 50 cents worldwide, that got to be the most delusional take I've ever heard in my life. Like I said, I don't know. I'm not saying it'll be bad. It's not a bad battle. That's a good battle to me. Swiss B said he's not doing that battle. He said they're two different artists. It's too, like, you know, it's too different. I wouldn't do it. But for everything Lil Wayne's done, his own music, features, mixtapes, all that, and even, like I said, we just bring it to a versus. I think Wayne could beat 50 in the verses. Wash, that's a strong. Wash is strong. But beat, definitely. Wayne has enough hit records to battle with 50 Cent. And to say that 50 Cent is a mainstream monster, and, and pretty much what that guy said is what you're saying. When you say that 50 Cent is a mainstream monster, you're saying he's worldwide. When you say that Wayne is a cultural mainstream monster, that is to say that he is more only within hip hop. He hasn't like broken out of that to a global mass audience, which is to me is dumb. Cause you don't I mean, even though the million records is a US thing, but you don't sell the type of records that Wayne sells. You don't become the type of rapper that Wayne comes only being directed in the US. You just don't become that. So that's what confuses me about the sentiment that you're making and the sentiment that that guy making. Because like I said, I don't have a problem. I don't have a, I don't I don't I don't even have a problem with him saying that Lil Wayne would lose the 50 in the verses because that's all I think that's subjective, right? I think uh, these are obviously New York people. New York motherfuckers think they're the greatest of all time. They're rappers, they're this, they're that. People in the South are fucking stupid, fucking hillbillies and whatever, whatever, right? That's what they think. But to say that Wayne doesn't have a give Richard I try when Carter 3 is sitting right there. And we're talking about mainstream monster. Carter 3 was put Wayne on another stratosphere. And then also, the album after that, Carter 4 did like 900,000. And has a bunch of hit records on it. Carter 2, you would say that's more like a cultural classic, a fan classic, but still a classic. 
But Carter, to say that get what you're not trying is this, and Carter three is whatever. That shit just don't make no sense. That that has no that that to me that that is nowhere rooted in logic at all. Like I said, we can debate it because I'm the same guy that said I think Kanye West could beat Michael Jackson. So I am cool with having crazy wild versus takes. But I ain't gonna do it on the. I ain't gonna say Michael Jackson is trash or Michael Jackson don't have a my beautiful dark twisted. I maybe I, I maybe I ain't gonna lie, I maybe said some crazy shit like that. But I was just bullshit. I feel like this got serious. So when I see that, that's what triggers that reaction for me. Cause I ain't gonna allow y'all to continue disrespecting Southern artists just because. 50s from New York. I don't give a fuck about New York, even though my people from New York. I don't give a damn. Y'all gonna stop shitting on Southern acts because they're not in the Mecca. They're not where all the labels are. In New York City, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Bitch, Lil Wayne is Lil Wayne. Even in hip-hop history books, people will definitely put Wayne ahead of 50. Wayne has everything. Wayne has longevity. Wayne has the hits. Wayne has the skill. Wayne got the fam. Like, everything. Check, 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 check. Everything. That's why when that list come out from Billboard, and that, this has to do with, like, rap career. This has nothing to do with verses. But, like, when they put Wayne at seven, I'm like. Once again, I feel like there's more of that Southern disrespect in that in that list. And I could, maybe there's a Southern artist in there. I'm not thinking off the top of my head, but. To say Wayne is seven, behind Kendrick, even behind Biggie and Pac. I get what Biggie and Pac are. I get Biggie and Pac are these icons that died too soon. I get that. But when you look at everything Wayne was able to accomplish, and to say that Wayne is less than them, like I said, it's not a bad people to be behind, but still, Wayne is less than them. Jay Z, I get it. Everybody in rap, dick suck Jay Z to the to the to the ends of earth. Everybody's lined up to suck Jay-Z's dick. I get it. But Wayne could definitely compete to be number one over Jay-Z. In personal list, obviously, y'all know I'm putting Drake. But in y'all's industry list, to say Wayne is seven, I feel like that's more of a southern bias to Wayne.